Hey everybody, it's GliderCat and it's time to play. We're back in Foundry. Episode, what is this? Episode 6. Alright, so for this episode, what I want to do is let's finish uh, routing the machinery parts to our second assembler over here so we can double up on the Science Pack 1 production. We'll get that done. And then the next thing I want to do is make sure that both of our mines here for the Xenoferrite and the Technomore that both of those are leveraging solar power. That's the second thing I want to do. And then maybe maybe we beef up and we add another solar panel and another battery, maybe. And then the third thing I was thinking we could do for this episode is set up some lighting so at night we can actually see what's going on. We've got plenty of... Um, we've got all the tech we need to do the lighting. And we can. I think we have enough resource to make the lights and place those around. So those three things be a good, I think, good goals for this one. And then maybe between episodes, uh, just like last time, I can clear out some flat land, clear out some space, get rid of the trees, and level the land a bit so we can place our second research lab. But we'll look to place the second research lab probably in the next episode. This one, again, we'll just focus on kind of the power, a little bit of cleanup, and optimizing the Science Pack 1 production. So let's go ahead and get started. When we last left off, we had routed our uh, Technum rods to go to both assemblers. And now we just need to drop another uh, logistics storage. Or, you know, what we could do now that the research is done. Let's go into research and just see how long it would take for us to uh, research this conveyor distributor. So let's select that. It takes 30 science packs and we're halfway through it. We could wait for that and then just use a distributor here instead of using this logistics block. Why don't we do that just so we can see how that goes? In the meantime, what I can do is I can grab a bunch of these machine parts off the line. In fact, it might even be faster for me to go to that assembler because they're probably backed up in here. So there's 200 uh, machine parts. Let me just take those into my inventory and we'll hand deliver them just for now to this assembler. And that will speed up the science pack production. And that'll get us our conveyor distributor technology that much faster. So let's go into manage inventory. And I will just take 200 of these machine parts and let's see how many it holds. It holds 200. Let's grab these other five and slap those in there. It's got plenty of Technum rods being automatically fed in. And so now that should double up on our uh, science pack one output. So that's cool. Now that that is done, let's think about the solar while we're waiting for that research to complete. We've got a couple options. We can extend this platform out all the way over to this platform. It's not very far and we only need like one line of building blocks to do it. And doing that would have this entire platform have access to the solar power that we're generating. So let's let's just do that. Let's see. I'm going to grab my building blocks. I think I'm connected there. And I'm just going to come straight on through. We'll just do a single line. Boom. I'm going to have to dig out a little here, but not much. So let's do that. Boom, 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 boom. And one, oh, we already got a block there. Cool. And once I drop this down... And one more, one more. <laughs> one guy snuck under here. Uh, I can leave him there. So now this entire platform is on the same low voltage power network. So we should be in good shape there. Now the issue is going to be we've got three biomass burners on this plat feeding this platform. We've got the one over here. We've got the one over by their machinery parts assembler, and then we've got another over here by our science pack assembler. We're not going to feed those anymore. We're going to rely on the solar power, but we're likely going to need to expand this solar power uh, with all of these machines going. It's probably one, I'm guessing one solar panel is probably not going to be enough to feed it. It'll be a while before we burn through all the energy stored in these biomass burners. But we should prepare for more, for to need more uh, electricity. So what we can do, we could just start building some platforms up along this way and have this be our 
our solar panel array. In fact, we could we could model it just like it's it's happening here. Um, there's a couple a couple things to consider. In order to connect power, we've got two ways to do it. We can connect the low power grid using these building blocks and just extend those wherever we want to have power connected. Or we can just rely on power poles and go power pole to power pole to power pole. But then wherever we want to charge a grid, we're going to have to drop down one or more of these transformers. So I'm not sure what's best. I'm kind of thinking for long distances, we'll want to use the power poles and for short distances, kind of like this, just along this whole platform here, we would just leverage the low power network or the low voltage power network and just use the building blocks. But maybe going up to this hill, maybe we leverage uh, the power lines. The only disadvantage to doing that is if we want lighting, say I want lighting going along this belt so we can see it, or every once in a while we, we have a light post here. I can't do that with power poles. Everywhere I'd have a light, if I'm not connected to the large uh, low voltage power grid, then I'm going to have to drop a transformer, drop a larger platform of uh, building blocks, and then pop my light on there. So maybe as I think about it, maybe we have one big solar array and then most things within the, you know, relatively near vicinity, but including this mine out there or anywhere we would have side, you know, anywhere we would have walkways or belts, then we just leverage the low voltage power grid so we can put lighting down. So let's, let's go with that. And let's, uh, let's think about, let's see. Let's see if our lights, if we can craft some of those. Oh, our research is done as well. Cool. But let's, while we're thinking about this, let's grab some lights. I'm going to craft, where do I get one for each? So I got five lights. I'm going to grab 10 lights. I'm going to craft up some more building blocks. So we'll grab, what is that? Uh, 25 of those. I might come back down and steal some plates. This is backed up. No, we're we're moving now because uh, we fed, because we fed that second assembler, the machine parts by hand. This thing is uh, cooking away. In fact, it's still got a hundred of them. Cool, very cool. So what I want to do is show you the lights. Let's go ahead to this our second toolbar. This is kind of where I want to keep the electrical stuff. I'll go into my inventory, my backpack. And I'm going to drag the lights down. And what else do I have? Do I have anything electrical here? Not really. I got another logistics container that we built. All right. Let's pop a light. We're not going to, of course, we're not going to be able to see them now because it's, it's light out. But let's pop a light right here. And let's do some. Let's start dropping some lights here around our lab. Maybe we're not going to use anything in here. So let's do this. Also, when you place the lights, so you can see that they're, they're kind of oriented in a certain direction, but when you're placing them, it's hard to tell just how it's going to, how it's going to shine. So if I hit the R key, I'm rotating it. So in order to know which way it's going to look because you can't, as I'm placing it, I can't see the top of it. I can't back scroll or do anything to see the top of it. Just know that wherever the base sits, that's the opposite side of where the line, where the light is going to shine. So the light's going to shine down in front of that base. So if we look at this one here, you can see that it's, if we go up, you can see that the light is shining down at this empty spot on the, on the block. So that's how you can tell. And you can turn these on and off. Um, they probably do use a little power, but I can't imagine turning them on and off all the time when you have, uh, when you have a bunch of them set up around your lab. So let's just pop one here and let's just do some initial stuff. We'll get one over here maybe. How about right? I don't 
think I can drop. Ooh, can I drop one there? I guess I can. Yeah, let's do it right here. I'm not sure if I can walk through these. I guess so. Let's see. Can I get through here? Yeah, I can jump through. And maybe put one back here. here and one over here and we can always move these later they'll probably we'll have a better idea of where the best locations are once it's nighttime but i just want to show you those because i think they're pretty cool all right let's get back to routing our machinery parts to the second assembler over here and we completed the research for our what is it conveyor distributor Let's go and craft one of these and see if it works like I think. I think that you feed one in and two come out. So let's give that a shot here. I'm going to go back to my first hot bar and destruct. Destruction mode or demolition mode. And then maybe how do we want to do this. Yeah, let's let's kill off one of these. Maybe two of these, so you can always put them back. Go to my backpack. I'm going to right-click on this guy. Let's see how this works. Okay, it looks like two come in and two come out. So I guess, I think I can just do this. Drop this guy down. And then it's up to you how you want to feed it. So let's see if I can get... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This looks like this is going to work. Let's grab a sloped one and come up. Whoops, I need to change the direction on that. Let me demolish that. And let me place that again. This time we want to go in the up direction. So I'm going to right click, hold it down, and then just mouse over to the up direction. Then we'll rotate, pop that there. I guess we could go up again, right? We'll come up over these belts, and then we'll come down over here and either feed in here or feed in on this other side uh, if there's not enough room let's grab our normal belts here and we'll just extend these out let's see now i've got kind of a weird kind of a weird it's having a hard time figuring out just what i want to do okay now i am mousing up 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 you know you can see i'm mousing way high and it's coming towards me if i mouse down it's going away from me if I do side to side, it doesn't seem to do anything. So let's do this. At least that far, probably. And let's craft a couple more sloped conveyor belts. Uh, let's grab five of them. And now I need to right click and set the direction to downward. Boom. And boom. And let's see if it will actually curve right at the bottom of a... Yeah, yeah, it does. Pretty cool. And why don't we just drop another... It looks like I can snake this guy around. So let's grab a loader and pop this guy here. Boom. And let's make sure that loader is set to intake. It is. And now we'll just put some belts here. And we will have taken care of our science pack automation at least for a while this will get us some faster science pack ones without having to hand carry resources around or any of that silliness cool so that's done that's kind of one of the main objectives of this episode we got that going doubled up our science pack production they're not exactly flying off the uh flying out of the assemblers here but we've at least doubled it up We've got plenty of machinery parts. Those aren't, those are still backed up even with two assemblers. And we've got plenty of um, Technum rods. Let's see, this one it looks like we might need more Technum rods now. Let's see. So this, yeah, yeah, let's see. 
So it looks like this isn't going to dis... I can't tell if this is going to distribute these things even or not evenly as they come in. Let's see. It just went to the far one. Just went to the far one. Just went to the far one. <laughs> so it looks like it's only going to feed this guy once that one's full, which is, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. It's not optimal, but it's not a big deal for, for us right now. Let's just take a look. If we wanted to, we could double up production here. But before we do, let's think about how to get this thing powered with solar. What we can do, if we want to have lights along the pathway here, along this belt, and maybe, maybe stairs, just to make it look a little nicer, let's go ahead and research stairs. So we'll do G and research the stairs. What does that take? It takes 30. Boom. It's already, is it already done? Yeah, it's already done. So we had enough uh, science packs backed up. Let's see what else we got. We got these guys, which take 50. And this looks like it's going to be a faster, faster conveyor belts. I think we're fine on that for now. Loader second lane, mining speed, railings, which is kind of aesthetics, I'm guessing. Steel, that's going to take our second research lab. And I think a lot of these guys that we haven't seen so far are going to be research lab two guys. So we'll hold off on all that. Why don't we grab inventory real quick? Always make use of that. So that's going to take a little bit of time to research. And then let's do kind of the same thing that we, that we started doing over here or over on the other side, I think, or yeah, along here where we kind of extended our platform up the hill. So this is part of the same platform. So if we drill this out, And let's just see how this is going to work. Drill this guy out. This guy. Let's just clear a path here. We're going to put platform blocks here and basically extend our low voltage power grid all the way up to our Technum or mine. And I think we hop up one here. Grab these guys. And then maybe next to this, we put a stairway so we don't have to jump up all these blocks. Again, I think I mentioned maybe the first episode or, or the second episode. Uh, the version that I'm playing right now is it's 021. I believe you can see in the description, make sure I'm not making a mistake there. Uh, I don't believe there is a setting so that you can walk up a single block height. You have to hit the space bar and jump. But I believe I read a note that there is going to be a setting where it'll uh, it'll automatically walk over one block so you don't have to jump if it's just one block uh, height. So that would be kind of cool. And let's just merge this guy in over here. And we'll take these blocks. And basically what we're doing here is just allowing us to share power with the solar power uh, generators and not having to drop transformers all over the place. And then it also gives us a powered path here where we can put lights if we want, which I think kind of look cool. We'll see at nighttime. I don't know if we'll uh, get to nighttime in this episode or not. Let's see here. Let's, uh, what do I need to do? Do I need to get rid of this guy? Yeah, let me get rid of this guy. And we'll extend these guys down. Boom. And two here to bridge that. One there, one there. This guy can come on down. One here and there. And we are just about there. All right, now these guys should all be on the same. Everything we have now, everything we have should be on the same low voltage power network or power grid. But we're going to need to beef that grid up. So let's think about how we want to expand it. So I was thinking we've got these shelves here. We got kind of a flat area and then a shelf and then a shelf. And then we could kind of bridge over this or fill this all in. And then we'd have room to make a little solar farm. So why don't we take a stab at getting that started? Might not do it all 
here and I may clear some blocks in between episodes. Let's see what we first need to do. Let's see. How do we want to do this? If I just put power, but let's see if I just put, um, just experiment here for a little bit. If I put base blocks here, I just ran out. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's. Oh, if I toggle that, it's going to pull things out. Let's come over here. And I'm going to put this storage bin on intake. Because I want this logistic storage to start queuing up plates. Because we're always needing these things. I'm always running short. So let's let that do its thing and collect them up. In the meantime, we'll get back here and continue with our experimentation. We need to continue the low voltage network out through under here. So we got to get down here and clear out these guys. Right. And then it'd be nice to only have one step up. So how can we do that? Let's see. Craft a few of these. Let's see. So hopefully you can get what I'm talking about here. If not, you'll see in a second. I'd kind of like it to be just a single step up, not two. So what do I got to do? I got to, I got to drill out these guys and drop blocks there. Boom, 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 kind of. And then I got to drill out these as well. I don't really need to do all three. Once I do one to connect it, it's probably fine. Let's see. Yeah, and then I'll come up one more. And then I'll have a single step and another step. So let's go see if we can fetch some more of these blocks. Let's see if I can get over there. Let's grab these. Craft some more. Maybe 25 more. All right. So now if I drop this down and this down and this down and this down. And then if we build on this level right here, we should be good. In fact, I could even put stairs or something up here. But now I believe these are all wired, right? Because we, we connected them right down there. So everything's kind of connected in. And then up here is where we would drop our next solar panel. So let's see. Do I have a solar panel? Let's go to the backpack. I do not. Let's see if we can craft one. I'm not sure if I've got the resources to do it or not. We'll find out. I do not. What do I need? I need more xenoferrite plates, of course. Let's see if I can hop up on this belt and get over to this guy. And grab some more. We'll go under craft menu. There we go. I can do a solar panel and I can do a battery. And I'm gonna need to do power pole too. But we'll do, yeah, at least one. Let's open this up. We'll take this storage. Let's see if I can get a power pole out of that. I might need the uh, Technum rods. Power pole. That might be it. Let's just see. All right. So hopefully I can get to where I... Showing you what I'm thinking here. But this would be the beginning of our kind of solar array. 
So I'm going to tab into my next hotbar, go into my backpack. I'm going to drop the solar panel and I'm going to drop the power pole and I'm going to drop the battery all on this kind of electrical, electrical hot bar. There we go. And how do we want the panels facing? Let's, let's have it come here and we'll have a row maybe. All right, there's our panel. Let's extend this out a little bit if we can. Really short on these building blocks. Go grab more. We'll craft some more of these guys up. Scoop out of inventory. Come on up. Where do we want our power poles? We need to connect to that one. And I think they don't, they shouldn't need to sit on anything special as far as having to sit on a building block. Those are pretty big too. Let's see. We'll tab over to there. I think we're going to need another one. Let's, we can see if, let's see if we can wire it this solar panel over to that looks like we can so now we've got some extra power being generated all right let's escape or let's mouse out of that okay so we got another solar panel and then we'll build an array kind of heading up this hill well maybe we'll move this primitive um primitive furnace here move that somewhere else or yeah just plop it down somewhere else and then we can build a solar array going up this way and then for all of our local production here including our um, techno mine we'll use the low power voltage network and then as we get on the map if we have to go mine some of this igneum ore or come way down here and and uh get this olamite or over here is more xenoferrite or then we'll use power poles we won't try to extend the extend that with building blocks we'll use power poles and then we'll plop a transformer down and set up a new platform you know where we need to go if it's long distance but close by here we're going to use our low voltage network and that's going to allow us to place the lights so now it's nighttime you can kind of see the lights i think they're pretty cool uh we can place more along here Got a few more. Let's see. We can adjust these later and make it look pretty. But just to give you an idea of how things look at night, I think that looks kind of cool. We need to definitely throw some over by the lab. But for now, let's see. What have we done? We have successfully hooked up everything to solar power. Even our techno mine way up here is hooked up to solar power via the low voltage network. So we'll let these biomass burners burn out now. That guy's got 38 left, 37 left. We'll let them burn out and then we'll see how fast we deplete our battery. And what we might do is, or well, obviously we're going to have to do is slap down some more batteries and more solar panels. And then I'm not sure how many transformers we're going to need. It did mention you might need multiple. So I, I think there's a limit on how much these can push into the low voltage network. So we might need to drop some of those down along the way. And I'm not sure what the correct ratio is. If there's a ratio, you know, an ideal ratio of solar panels to batteries to transformers. But we'll just kind of build out an array going up the hill here. And we'll fill this in. Maybe I'll fill this in off camera. And then the other thing I'm going to probably do off camera, um, next episode we'll add some, maybe we'll add some lighting around this lab. But the next thing I'm going to do off camera is clear out this space here a little more. I'll clear out the vegetation and I may bust out some of this dirt and just level the land a little bit. And then we'll look to place our research lab two right next to this guy. I'll leave some room for belts and things because I don't know what we're going to have to route into Research Lab 2 if there's uh, more materials than just um, than just Science Pack 1s and Science Pack 2s. I think, I think we're going to need at least those. And then during construction, 
we'll have to decide. We'll decide if we replace it. If during the construction phase, we just want to bring over those materials by hand, or if we want to run belts to feed in the building materials to complete the construction. We'll decide that in the next episode. And then we'll, I guess we'll discover if, you know, research lab one, if we stop, you know, routing science pack ones to it. So can I research everything that I did in research lab one in the, in the second lab? Or do I need to have this lab still around? So I'm not sure. You know, if we look at the research menu, if I just click on G, you know, it's showing me and I can research all this stuff. It doesn't really tell me where I need to research it, right? Let's see. Okay, it depends on conveyor distributor one. That's this guy. Or no, let's see. So assembler two, 80 science pack ones and 40 science pack twos. It requires research lab two, and it's gonna give me assembler two. So I'm not sure if I just keep pumping science pack ones into research lab one and 40 science pack twos into research lab two, if that's how it works, or if we push both science packs into a single lab. We'll find out when we place the lab and then probably in the next episode. But yeah, for this one, we got a bit done. We got a little bit of lighting done. We expanded our solar a little bit. We are probably going to be done with the biomass burners. We amped up our science pack creation. And what else? I guess next episode we might consider uh, doubling up on technum rods like we did with the xenoferrite plates. And in fact, xenoferrite plates were still coming up short constantly for building materials. We might even want to triple this up, throw another miner down, and, uh, and maybe build out this way or clear out space this way and drop another ore miner down, auto miner, and, uh, and get more xenoferrite plates being built. As it stands now, I've got this one locked down, so he's going to accumulate some for us. There's 100 in there. I'll grab these out right now and it looks like if we look at that storage container it holds a ton right we've got what is this eight slots and i think those are 200 each so we can store 1600 uh, plates in there or product in there all right well that is it i will quit babbling and we will meet up again for the next episode of this let's play in the comments go ahead and let me know what you think of the game uh, what you think of these videos have <laughs> what you think i might want to do a little different or any design suggestions for the lab as we uh, as we build it out. But yeah, I'm enjoying the game. I hope you are too. We haven't encountered any real bugs. I think we saw one spelling error in this whole time. So it looks pretty stable and it's pretty smooth. And we've got quite a bit of play ahead. I hope you'll stick with me. And so for now, this is GliderCat signing off saying thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.